One of ProCalc's greatest features is its ability to play what if and do goal seeking. You're not going to believe how powerful this is. Wake up! Listen carefully! The way we have this deal structured right now, the rentable square foot net effective rental rate is $46.46. What if we were able to get another month of free rent? Click on go to data entry, go to your base rent free rent, scroll over to your free rent, and instead of four months, we're going to plug in five months. Click on go to reports, go back down to my totals, and the net effective rental rate drops to $46.05. That's the difference of adding one more month of free rent. You can play what if with any box in the data entry form. Just use the navigation menus to go to the data entry form and then go back to the totals to see how the numbers have changed. If you think playing what if is cool, wait till you see goal seeking. This is extremely powerful, so watch carefully. The rentable square foot net effective rental rate right now is $46.05. Suppose I wanted to find out how many months of free rent it was going to take to get my net effective rental rate to be $45.50 a foot. So, click on go to data entry, we're going to go back to the base rent. We're going to scroll over to the free rent, and all of my free rent is in cell T116. Click on go to reports, go back down on my totals. I click on tools, click on goal seek. It says set cell, and it's blinking around HT1149, to value $45.50 by changing cell T116, which is my free rent. I click OK. It says found a solution. I click OK to get out of the box. You'll see my net effective rate per annum is now $45.50. I click on go to data entry. I go back to my free rent. Scroll over here and it's 6.37 months of free rent to make my net effective rental rate $45.50. More often than not, you're going to want to goal seek on the base rent. One small issue. You can only goal seek on one data entry cell. Your base rent might be in five different cells. Wait till you see how I've solved this problem. As you can see, my base rent is in three different boxes. I can only goal seek on one box. You see the button at the top that says set up the base rent to goal seek. I click here. Because you can only goal seek on one cell, clicking below will allow you to goal seek on the first base rent cell, R116, and any future bumps will automatically change proportionately. I click OK. And it doesn't look any different, but ProCalc just recorded that you wanted a $2 bump from here to here and a $3 bump from here to here. No matter what I put in the first box, I'm going to get a $2 bump and a $3 bump. So all of my base rent is keying off the first base rent box, R116. I click on Go to Reports. I go down to my Total section. Let's use the present value. We're currently at $3.3 million. I can click on Tools. I click on Goal Seek. And it says Set Cell. HT1145, two, three million dollars by changing R116. I click OK. It says found a solution. My present value is now three million dollars. I click on go to data entry. I go back to the base rent, twenty dollars and seventy four cents, twenty two seventy four, twenty five seventy four. How cool is goal seeking? Goal seeking is really critical to your ability to be able to negotiate good deals. So you might want to rewind this segment a couple of times and watch it to make sure you really understand how to use the goal seeking efficiently. If you have any questions, click on help. You know how to get our phone number. 24-7-365. Pick up the phone and call us. Tell us what you have a question about. We'll straighten you right out. Now, for some really cool stuff. Can you imagine there's even cooler stuff than what I've already shown you here today?